Someday y'all are going to learn. That's applicable to trolls. It's applicable to colleagues and contemporaries. It's applicable to players, coaches, general managers, and other executives, even owners. Like you got to come at me. You got to be ready. Because you know at any given moment, even though I don't always choose to do so, I love the power that I have to reach out and touch somebody anytime I want to. Now, it just so happens that I happen to be fond of Lonzo Ball. I think he's a good dude. And I think he's a damn good player and a better player than I thought he would be, even though I knew he would be good. But I never thought. And it's the only argument Magic Johnson and I have ever gotten into in, in, in a quarter century we've known each other. Only argument Magic Johnson and I have ever gotten into is I begged him to draft De'Aaron Fox, who's now in the Sacramento Kings. And I don't think I'm lying about that. I don't think I'm lying about that. I begged him. I absolutely, positively begged Magic Johnson to draft De'Aaron Fox. And go back to the original screen, please. Lower that, please. I begged him. And the reason why I said that is because I knew that De'Aaron Fox was better. And I thought that the Lakers drafting Lonzo Ball was a business decision because he was from Chino Hills. And he wasn't the player that De'Aaron Fox was. And I stand by that. Doesn't mean he's not good. It's just that I think that De'Aaron Fox is a star. Okay? Well, yesterday on first take, I spoke on that. Yesterday, before Lonzo Ball responded, I spoke on a state of affairs involving Lonzo Ball once news came down that he was probably going to miss half of the upcoming NBA season. Listen to what I said. Here it is. I don't think he'll ever be the same um, based off of what we're seeing and hearing and reading about. I've heard that it's even hard for him to get up from the sit sitting position. Obviously, Lonzo Ball took offense to that. Lonzo Ball is 26 years of age. He's been in the league for about four years. Um, it's one of those situations where he got a bit defensive and he wanted to make sure that he clapped back at me. Um, and, you know, he does what some of these guys will try and do in this day and age before I felt the need to address them. But before I get into specifics, let's look at what Lonzo Ball had to say to clap back at George Truly. Who are your sources, bro? Please, please tell me who your sources are. Come on, man. Come on, man. You got to stop yapping. And I actually like you, man. I don't even know you like that. But I like you. I'm coming back, man. Come on. For the record, to everybody, <clears throat> I don't blame him for doing that. I really, really don't. I like Lonzo Ball, too. Oh, by the way, and his daddy. I've only met his brother LaMelo once, who I know, who I believe is going to be a superstar in this league for years to come. But I like LaVar Ball, too. LaVar has clapped on me one time. He called me as fake as a $3 bill and all of this other stuff. Please, didn't stop him from coming on first take. Didn't stop him from giving me a pound and a hug. Didn't stop him from being a guest. Didn't stop him from rapping me. All of that is just talk, y'all. It's all good. It's all love. Lonzo Ball is good people. He really is. And he's a damn good basketball player. And I think the Bulls would be better if he were healthy and in the lineup. OK, so I want to be clear about that. And I want to be clear about the fact that he had every right to come at me the way that he did. It's just that you got to be careful sometimes, bro. And this is me in response, showing him why he needs to be careful. Listen up. Bro, you ain't healthy. You've missed about 48 percent of your games and you're only four years into your career. Mm -hmm. And on top of it all, you would think that since you missed all the last season and 47 games the season before that, right. and you're scheduled to miss games at least until the new year, this upcoming season, that you wouldn't make a video proclaiming that you're healthy. Because instead of looking at me, and I'm not talking to Lonzo, I'm talking to the idiot trolls out there. Instead of looking at me, what if I was a Bulls fan? And I said, and I looked at him in poolside, oh, so you can play. Mm, Can true. you play? Yeah. Can you play? Since you're doing that. <laughs> Since you're because healthy. the answer would be no. <laughs> Sit your ass down. I didn't mean that in some volatile way. Again, I like it. It ain't fighting words or nothing like that. I'm just saying sit your ass down. Come on, bro. You don't exactly have a strong case to argue with me on this. Do you want me to give the names of your doctors and the surgeries that you have had? 
I'm not going to do that, okay? But I will throw out some other numbers that people need to know. Like, for one, the last game Alonzo Ball played was against the Golden State Warriors, uh, what was it, January of 2022? That was when Lonzo Ball severely injured his knee, leading to several surgeries. In your career, you've missed around 46 to 48 percent of your games. The exact number, I'm not sure, but I am absolutely positive it's around 220 games. I have more. Lonzo Ball turns 26. In October, I'm just looking at my social media guy. I'm looking at my sister's smart. I'm sorry. I, I, I don't want to get on him too much, but I just think it's important to throw this out there, okay? Um, Lonzo Ball turns 26 in October. Had a cartilage transplant in his left knee in March. The procedure on his knee was the third he's had since he signed a four-year $80 million contract with the Bulls in 2021. It's more than a year and a half since Ball has played. I told y'all that already. And since signing his deal in 2021, he played in only 35 games before the injury. Games missed due to the injury the last two seasons. He missed all 82 games last season. He missed 47 games the season before that, 42 due to injury. Okay. And in his career, 2017, 2018, knee and shoulder injury. 2018-2019, 2018-2019, he missed 35 games, ankle injury. By the way, the knee and shoulder injury, the first go-around, 29 games. So 29 games missed for the knee and shoulder in 2017-2018. 2018-2019, he missed 35 due to the ankles. 29, um, 2019-2020, he missed six to the groin and thigh injury. 2021-22, I'm sorry, 2020 and 2021, he missed 17 games due to a thumb, toe, hip, and knee injury. And I told y'all, He missed the 42 out of the 47 games due to injury because of his knee in 21-22. And last season, he missed 82 games. In six NBA seasons, Lonzo Ball has missed 211 of a possible 472 games, which is 45% due to injury, not including load management. Okay? Why are you making a video with your knees? Now, if I couldn't go off camera, if I didn't want to go off camera because of the lighting in my studio here, um, do y'all know I can get up and sit down and get up and sit down and get up and sit down all night long? Does that mean that I can run the hell up down the, uh, up and down the damn court 94 feet for 30, 35 minutes a night? Sitting poolside on a bench, getting up on one knee, you think that shows that you're healthy? You going to call me yapping when I have all of this information in front of me? Would you like me to tell where you had surgery and exactly what date you had surgery on? Would you like me to get the names of the doctors? I do have them. I know the actual actual doctors that operated on you. The actual locations. Of course, I wouldn't do something like that to you, bro. I would never do something like that. That's none of my business. That's That's none of anybody's business. I'm just making the point. Come on, bro. By the way, in June, the Bulls officially announced that you would be out for an indefinite period of time. And speculation is, is that you were going to miss the whole season. And even though you're coming back, at the very least, it isn't expected that you'll be available to play until January of 2024. So you missed 42 games two seasons ago. You missed the entire season last season. You're scheduled to miss this season up until January. Upcoming! And you're going to sit poolside and ask why I'm yapping and who are my sources just because you getting bouncing up and down on one knee? Really? Really? I'm going to be nice because I got love for you, bro. And I want you to get back healthy. But it's not a crime to say that people have been concerned about your knees. You know I don't make it up. If I said it, Somebody close to you told me. Maybe they're wrong. But that's the concern about you. That's the reality.